What's going on guys? It's your boy Sensei Chat as you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get Max CR, which of course is CR342. But before we actually hop into the video, if you haven't did so, make sure you do subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on future content, such as this video right here. With that being said, let's go. So I did make a video guys, um, I am going to put the video link in the description, but I did make a video on how to actually level up to level 30 um, and a fast effective way to actually level up past that, um, but I, it was pretty brief, um, now I did pretty much explain how to actually get to level 30 and then after that, um, it was basically shown, I was basically showing you guys how to level up from there, but I am going to be showing you guys a, uh, a pretty much go over that one more time and I'm going to show you guys actually what you do need to do to get CR342. Now I know what you guys are thinking, you guys are thinking well since say you're only 339, why aren't you 332, I mean 342? Well the reason before, uh, the reason behind that is because I am in my healing row and I'm not really too much worried about my gear, I'm trying to get all my stats up to par first and then I'm going to make sure I do get 342 and plus I have to get all the elite gear and that's just really really expensive and my DPS side is uh, at 341 and of course I'm just working on all my elite gear um, so basically let's go ahead and jump into this so when okay so of course you do know when you do make a character you will have to follow the journal and just pretty much get to level 30 um, you will be going to your journal when you make a character and it will say main missions and then of course you would just be clicking on that and it would have an arrow on your map telling you where to go, who to talk to and so on and so such. If it does say go to Metropolis, you will have to go to a Metropolis. Um, you basically just go outside of the police station and if it's daylight that would be Metropolis and then if it was night time that would be Gotham. And then if you don't know, um, there is a teleporter in each of the police stations that tells which, um, you can actually go to it and it tells you which police station is where. So of course if it says go to Midtown uh, MPD station and you're in the uh, East End police station, just find the teleporter. It should be where all the mail is at in the police station. And then you would be able to go to that teleporter and click on uh, Midtown police station. And then of course you would be able to go outside and then enter Gotham or Metropolis. So that is basically um, that now you will be leveling up doing that, following the missions inside your journal, going inside of uh, you know certain buildings to do certain little walkthroughs and you know defeat the bosses inside of that, you know, to level up and unlock your powers, and of course you do get source marks on the way. Now guys, I do want to mention that you are going to actually want to save all your source marks. Don't spend your source marks, just save them until you actually do get to level 30. Then when you do get to level 30, you will be um, required to talk to the Justice League that is in the middle of the Watchtower as a hero or in the Hall of Doom as a villain. And the Justice League is actually up here. I'm going to go ahead and show you. So up here, um, you would it does say talk to the Justice League so you just come in here enter Hall of Justice and then you would just come over here and then you would talk to Batman Superman or Wonder Woman whichever one you picked as your mentor when when you did create your character so once you do that guys you are pretty much free and on your own when you do get to that level um, now like I said guys if you do want a more in-depth description of how to level up um, before you level 30 then I will put a link in the description of this video and you guys can go ahead and click on that and then I will um, then you can come back to this video and I will show you exactly how to get max CR um, so which of course that is what we are going to be going over today so briefly going over that we're gonna jump off of that topic and jump into uh, what you can do from level 30 up to max CR to actually uh, get max so the first thing that you do want to take in mind guys is you are going to want to make sure to grab skill points on the way um, to, ma to the max CR and by skill points I do mean style po uh, style feats um, so um, I do have videos on those as well but I'm going to show you guys exactly um, what to do exactly so when you are finished with that you are going to actually um, and you can see it, it is level 46 Wait, let me go back to it again. So it, it is level 46, 
and of course you do have one that's 57 and then of course you have one that's 80 right here now of course from 57 I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys um now from level 47 to level 80 you're actually gonna uh, I mean 57 to level 80 you are going to actually have to do some of the on duty um, duos and four players and alerts and so on, uh, so on and so such but of course those are pretty brief and um, you can collect the gear from there um, now actually I think it is over here if I'm not mistaken I'm just running back and forth for some reason I don't know what just happened there so um, this right here is Raven and you can see that this gear is level 46 so once you do get to level 30 you are gonna be able to buy this gear um, now what I do recommend is going ahead and um, like I said save up your source marks because when you do save your source marks you can actually buy all of this gear so if you buy from the chest and then you just buy it down to the uh, back that will be a that will be a 50 point feat and uh, feats do lead up to uh, skill points which does make you stronger by the way so you can use the gear from here to get to the CR that you do need for the next set of vendors so um like I said guys this is CR 46 vendor if you just run off of the uh, down the stairs and come right here to Donald Troy which is right down here to the left of the staircase that you use to run up there you will see that this gear is level 56 so now this gear is level 56 guys so um, you will be you will you will actually need a uh, certain CR to actually be able to use this 56 gear so if you're level 30 and you try to buy one of uh, one of them pieces of gears that I did just show you and you just try to buy one and then come here you're not gonna it's gonna be red because you you have to be a certain you have to buy enough of those you need at least four or five pieces of those gears um, from that vendor up there maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more uh, but you do need a few pieces to actually be able to actually buy these uh, to buy this gear right here and uh, do take in mind when you do buy this gear it is going to actually um, raise your CR up also now that's if you wanted to you know just work your way up like that now one thing that you can do guys I'm not gonna lie and then of course um, let me go over this before you before I hop on to a different subject so this is 56 of course and then up here on the left side of the staircase up here this is level 78 I think or it might be yeah 78 so this is 78 so of course in between look in between um, CRs right so let's say you get stuck in between CRs so let's say you get stuck from 57 to 78 let's say you level 64 and you can't get to that 78 gear yet okay um, you're gonna want to and so in between CRs like that in between vendors when you're at that CR and you just can't get to a certain um, you can't get past a certain point uh, what you will actually what you are gonna want to do is you can come to the middle of the watchtower again um, and I'm this is where I'm at right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on the uh, on the map real quick so you can see right here on the middle of the watchtower um, you can actually see um, about where I'm at you're gonna see a robot with a money bag above his head, and this robot with the money bag above his head is actually going to be. Um, this is basically going to be the gear that you can use in between. Now you can use this gear from the start, from level 30 all the way up to level 265, guys. I'm gonna say that one more time, all the way up to 265, guys. Uh, that is where the gear stops. So um, the gear from here is level 265. So you are going to be able to get to level probably 270 and then once you do get to a certain um, CR um, you can actually open this up and there will be no items in this category just as you can see here it's going to say nothing's here because of course you can't be a too high of a CR. Um, now you can do that you can use this bot to level all the way up to level uh, 265, 270. Um, but of course you're gonna be missing out on a few feats that you can get from the uh, from the vendors that I showed you on the right side so you can start here you can buy all those if you're not in a rush for your CR and guys trust me you don't have to be in a rush for the CR because skill points is gonna be more important than your CR in the long run so um, if you're not in a rush for your CR go ahead and buy all of the gear from the 46 vendor get that skill point buy all the ones from the 57 a vendor get that skill point and then buy the ones from the CR uh, 80 
well of course you would have to buy some from this vendor to get to be able to actually buy the gear from the CR80 uh, vendor but then once you do um, you're going to be getting skill points on the way so basically you can come to this vendor and level up like that um, and then of course when you uh, are whenever you are out of source marks guys um, you can actually come here um, to your own duty tab so you just go to your own duty tab you hold options on PS4, PS5, I'm not sure what it is on PC, but you hold that down and you want to come to on duty and then you'll see it says one player, two player, four player, and, and eight player. Um, so the one player guys is basically, so you're going to see it says uh, level 10 up. This is what you can do before level 30, but you can see it says tier one. So um, you can see in the middle section right there where it says tier one, it says uh, relevant to combat rating 30 to 53. Um, and then it says minimum CR and then it suggests the CR and then it shows your rewards. Um, pause if you need to look for that, but it says it right there in the middle. Um, you can see that it is minimum CR of 30, which does mean you do have to be at least level 30 before you can run this tier 1 uh, solo. And then of course, if you go ahead and scroll down, um, all of these are level 30. Now these do give you source marks which of course is what you're going to use to buy your gear from the robot that I did show you. And then you're going to go ahead and come down to, uh, to tier 2. And you can see it says minimum CR43 so you do have to be CR43 to actually, um, to actually run these solos. And this is the same scenario on the 2 players, 4 players and 8 players. And then of course when you do get to the tier 3. Um, it is CR53, which of course, in between these uh, tiers, guys, in between these, you're going to be able to actually buy gear. So you're going to be able to probably to skip some of the missions, but don't do it. Make sure you do run all of your solos, and make sure you do run all of your duos. That way, you don't miss out on some of the feats that you would miss out on if you just tried to hurry up and CR push. CR pushing is when you care less about the skill points and all you care about is the level. Guys, I can't stress it enough. Don't do that because you're going to be regretting it later and then whenever the update comes sometime this month, it's going to be really, really hard to get the skill points that you missed out on because you decided to CR push. Anyway, guys, um, so like I was saying, um, so the four player is, is generally the same. Um, you can see it says 30, uh, minimum CR 30, and of course it gives you... Um, it does give you source marks and it gives you loot from here um, now when you do get loot from the on duty tabs um, now it is going to be in your inventory it's going to pop up and in case it does not pop up in your inventory um, then it just pops up with the purple box on your screen and you're going to press up to select which gear you want before you even equip or collect which piece of gear you want um, you do want to go to your inventory guys and you want to see which piece of gear is your lowest piece of gear okay so the lowest piece of gear you can see um, for me I'm going to show you um, so this would be my lowest piece of gear my shoulders right here so if you look over where it is showing the style the pyromaniac and it says I already have it collected and it shows all the numbers with the stats and stuff if you look up there um, you'll see where it says item level 293 um, now that is the item level that the piece of gear that you are wearing is. Now if you do go through and you can see that they actually do change. That's because um, some of the gear is actually lower. Um, actually my head is lower because it's 291. So my shoulders is 293 and my head is 291. So that means that I would want the headpiece. Now for instance if I let's say I would have got the neck or the hands right. Uh, drop for me before I collect one. I would go look at my neck. Okay, my neck is 291 Then I go look at my hands 293 so my neck is lower So that's the one I would want to collect so I would just go ahead and collect the neck piece and then equip it And that would raise my CR faster than it would if I was to um, just not pay attention So basically now that we have that down pat that would level you up um, Just use that same method to you get um, until you get to level 310 or until you get to 270 I'm sorry and then of course you would have gear you would go to this teleporter that is in 31st century New Earth if you go to the map you can see where it says right here in the middle of the watchtower on the right side over here and it's right here 31st century New Earth pause the video if you have to but the teleporter is right here 
I'm just gonna go ahead and walk in there real quick. Now do take in mind guys, when you are buying gear from in here, you're not gonna wanna actually use source marks, you're actually gonna wanna use solar credits. Solar credits look like this. You just go to inventory and you press R1 twice and you go to currency. And this is how you check how many solar credits and source marks you have. So you can see I have 26 source marks. And then of course for the solar credits I have 29. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and come to the second from right bot right here. And then you should be able to see all of the gear. Maybe it's this bot right here. It is. So you can see the gear here, it doesn't cost a lot of solar credits, um, and it is 285 gear for me. If you come in here um, before level 310, it's going to be just above the CR, it's going to still raise your stats up, but of course do make sure that you are collecting the right piece of gears that you need to level your, yourself up. Make sure you're looking and seeing which piece of gear is the lowest that you're wearing, and then you're going to go ahead and collect the gear that you are um, needing from this bot here if you um, are already level 270, 260 or that gear from the other bot in the watchtower isn't popping up because you're too high you're gonna come in here so this is the next place you're gonna come after that you're gonna use this in here to get to level 310 uh, past 310 as high as you can try to collect all the styles from here um, to get solo credits guys you're gonna run these missions right here hologram of Saturn girl um, Computo, all these missions with the yellow explanation mark is going to give you solo credits, and that is how you can level up um, very fast, guys. And of course, you can uh, you, you're going to be able to do that, guys. So, and by the way, uh, this gives you eight solo credits. This gives you eight solo credits, and then this one gives you eight solo credits. So all of the computers actually give you eight solo credits. So you do get a decent amount of solo credits from in here, just from doing that one time. But that is weekly. You can only do that once a week. These guys, it's not computers. You can do every single day. So that should be very fast. Then once you get to a certain level, and you get all of the gear that you can from here, you're gonna wanna go ahead, and you can just go to your hold options again, and go to your map. And then you can just go to Warp Menu and then go ahead and go to Flashpoint Gotham City. That is where we're heading to now. And then once you do get in Flashpoint City Gotham, you're gonna see Cobblepot's fence right here. Now this is the bot that this is the vendor that you're actually gonna buy the highest level gear that you can that's in the game currently, but you're not gonna have access to the highest level gear. If you try to buy the highest level gear, it's not gonna actually give you the highest level gear. It's gonna give you um, gear that's around the same CR as you. So you do have to level up um, the way I showed you to actually get the uh, so you gotta be 322, level 322 to actually get the correct gear from here. So um, once you do get to 322, you will actually see not this purple gear, but you'll actually see this gold gear right here, and it will be unlocked. It's 295 gear. You'll need to collect all of this gear, and then you will need to collect all of the elite gear, which of course would be down here. If you just scroll down past the healer gear, you'll see that it is right here. It would say elite next to the name in the left hand corner of the screen right there. It does say elite in parentheses, so that is how you know that it is the correct gear that you do need to actually. Now, you will have to have all of the elite gear um, and the back piece maxed out. Um, I do have a video on how to actually get the OP back piece and how to level it up, so just go check it out. It will help you guys tremendously. The face piece doesn't really matter. You don't really have to have the face piece maxed out. Just have the elite piece of gear for the face, and it should just get you to 342 right if not should be knocking on 342 so uh, that is the the back piece is a definite must you do need it maxed out so like I said guys go check my channel out and I do have a video on how to get it maxed out and then once you get all the elite gear from here guys you will 
and of course have the OP back piece maxed out, you should be sitting at 342. Now if you look at my gear guys, the reason why um, I'm not is because you can obviously see I don't have all of my elite gear. I actually don't have any elite gear um, and I don't have all my 295 gear from here. So once I do do so, I will be at around 341 once I get all my two. So all of your 295 gear plus the OP back piece and the OP face piece maxed out puts you at a 341 and then all the elite gear will put you at a 342 with max stats. I really hope this video did help you guys. If it did, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on and leave a like. Until next time guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.